You better love yourself. You better love. You better, you better love yourself. You better love. You better love yourself. You better love. Hi guys, I'm Shafar. I'm pronounced like the material. And welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I make videos all about health, beauty, and fashion. And today I wanted to start off a weekend vlog. So I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store and pick a couple of things up. So it's Saturday morning. So I typically go like eight, like try to go like eight to 9 a.m. to beat the morning rush, but it's 9.13, so I'll probably get there like at 9.30. But anywho, um, oh, let me get, show you guys my cute flowers. But I got for V-Day. Aren't these so pretty? And then there's these roses in there. So they'll probably die in a little bit. <laughs> I'm sad about that, but they're super cute. Um, yeah, so I gotta pick up a couple of things. Um, this week went by so fast. Like I can't believe it's Saturday already. Tons of work to do, preparing multiple lectures. And then, um, I don't know if I gave an update to you guys, but I am in clinic. So, I mean, that doesn't really change anything regarding my time because like, I'm still working the same hours if I was doing telemedicine too. So anywho, that, that doesn't do anything. But um, yeah, I have my rack back there for hauls. I actually did a haul for Broken Land and guys go check it out i love that company um their clothes are super cute like i think it may be one of my favorite clothing brands um they have like high quality jeans um clothing so they have skirts dresses jumpsuits um i think there's one thing that i want to get but i'm not sure yet. <laughs> i just got another skirt uh i'll I'll unbox it with you guys too later on in the video. Well, you know, throughout the weekend when I get home. So yeah, check that haul out. Um, and I'm not wearing anything special. Um, I do have to come home and wash my hair after, but I just got on a jacket. Hold on, I'll turn it around to show y'all. So I didn't make my bed, so just like ignore all of that. Uh so this is my hair and i just got on this coat that i got from zara a really long time ago then i have my purse from kurt geiger some leggings i got these a long time ago from fab fit or fit fab and then these super cute black boots that i got from asos i did a video on them too if you guys want to check them out but they're from asos i love them they're certainly not the prada boots <laughs> but I still think they're cute. Chunky heel. Hey y'all, so I just got from the grocery store. I'm in line for Starbucks. <laughs> every Saturday I get like a Starbucks drink because I don't know, makes me, well not every Saturday, every two Saturdays because I go grocery shopping every two weeks. So yes, I have like a routine of everything. I'm about to get this drink and I'll let y'all hear me order it. So I live like a low carb, low, well, basic low carb, basically low sugar because um, carbohydrates break down into sugar. So I live a like a uh, low sugar lifestyle. And so I'm going to order this drink that's like really low in carbohydrates. So it probably has like definitely less than five carbs, probably less than that but at maximum five carbs so i do so like a while ago i don't know if i told you guys this already on one of my like vlogs back but i live a low sugar lifestyle because one i used to do keto um during residency and i lost a whole bunch of weight so i do a low carbs but i definitely do a low sugar because like in high school, I was having like yeast infections and I was like, what the heck is happening? So 
I end up, so I started paying attention to my body. Oh, hold on y'all, cause I gotta turn the corner into the drive-through. Okay, so yeah, it wasn't like I was having them every day, but like um, when we got this vending machine in high school, I had like this red pop. Now I was drinking this red pop or soda, some people may call it, and I was getting yeast infections. And I was talking to my sister about it. She was like, it's probably because it has too much sugar. And I'm like, what? Like, what do you mean? And mind you, I was like 14, 15 years old. And I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, you have to, you know, eat, drink less sugary drinks. And so I switched to teas and um, like, you know, unsweetened teas. And then I would put like, like, artificial sweeteners in it or I'll drink like green tea lightly sweetened and my yeast infection stopped and I'm like oh, okay I'm good I'm good then I start I got like a slurpee or something from 7-eleven and I'm like why do I have a yeast infection so as a kid I just stopped drinking like pops and just start drinking all water and stuff like that and people be upset in the morning like they need to calm down but uh sorry y'all i'm on my phone but yeah so um what was i saying what was i even talking about oh yeah so they were like um after after i had that yeast infection I, okay i'm like okay now i definitely don't need to be drinking those sugary drinks and like i haven't had yeast infections um you know and so when i went to pharmacy school i was able to connect it y'all so basically a yeast actually feeds oh i got nothing in my nose yeast feeds on sugar so you know if you have diabetes you're at a, you or like kind of at an increased risk risk of having yeast infections because you may have you know more amount of sugar in your urine um especially if your diabetes is not controlled. So I do not have diabetes, but that just kind of made me connect, made me realize the connection between sugar and why I had yeast infections. So there's times where if I'm drinking the whole bunch of sugary drinks, which I used to do in high school, I would get yeast infections. But now I don't drink those sugary drinks. I don't get yeast infections. Yes, so can I have a venti passion iced tea unsweetened? Passion iced tea. Unsweetened. And can I have that sweetened with three pumps of sugar free vanilla syrup and four Splendas? You said three pumps of sugar free vanilla syrup and four Splendas? Yes. And can I also have heavy whipping cream in that? Absolutely. Anything else? And that'll be all. It's going to be. So finally home, <clears throat> I like mopped. <laughs> uh, well, I use a sweeper sweeper and then I listen to church, but I'm about to eat something. So I got some Jamaican food. So good. So oxtail cabbage and plantains. And I'm about to watch the movie. So I'm watching Judas and the Black Messiah. So I've heard like good reviews about it. Then I heard like um, people saying... Some not a lot of people, but a couple of people saying that people like um I guess over glamorize or like Disney fat. You, you know, like when there's like a a story and then people turn like a real positive spin on it, so it's a more it's more palatable to people. So I heard that's what happened, but I don't know. But overall, I heard really great reviews about it. So I'm now about to watch it. I had to figure out how could I watch it from home because I'm not going to the movie theaters. So I had to watch. I'm watching it on my TV now. I was able to stream it. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Y'all, I was knocked out. <laughs> I was really tired. So I just woke up and I'm about to wash my hair. So I watched the um, Judas and the Black Messiah movie. It was actually some great acting in there. So I wouldn't say, so I'm a Disney pr princess type of girl. Like I love movies with happy endings. And unfortunately things I talk about, you know, black Americans and 
American history if endings aren't <laughs> that great. But the acting was really, really good, I would say. Like the one actor who played um, Fred Hampton, he actually is not American. His accent was like really, really good. Uh, so I, you know, go ahead and watch it so you can little hear a little bit about his story and about like what went down with the Black Panthers and how like there was basically someone who was an informant um, for the FBI that helped with the downfall of Fred Hampton and his um in his. Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, and they also talk about his, the mother of his child, like she's in it. Um, I don't know. It was just really, really great acting. So yeah, I highly recommend going to watch it and also maybe reading a book. It's always good to read a book. But I feel like if you don't know about his story, it's a good start to, good start to know about him. So I think that's the point that was the point of putting a movie out so people are aware of his story. And so I think it they did a great job of bringing um, attention to his story. So yeah, I'll recommend going to watch it. Happy Black History Month. So now um, that I noticed like I was, actually I wasn't even really that tired. I know why I fell asleep. So I fell asleep because I ate a lot of carbs and you know how you have like a food coma? I don't like that. Like I don't like that feeling of falling asleep after I eat and then waking up and like your mouth is so dry. Like that's just telling me that I ate too much carbs. So I did eat rice and I typically don't eat rice, but you know, I just um, wanted some. I haven't had rice in a really long time and I just wanted some because it came with like the oxtail and the cabbage. And I was like, oh, let me just eat some of the rice. So I did, it was really good. But I had the food coming from it, and I don't like that feeling. So that's why I don't really eat too much, like rice, breads, and pastas and stuff, because I don't like feeling tired after eating. I still want to feel light and stuff. I don't like that heavy feeling. But I'm about to wash my hair. Um, I'm going to wash my hair and my extensions too. So for my extension, I'm going to use the Pyrology system. So I used the Hydrate one. So this is the shampoo. Ooh, look at my cute nails, guys. Ain't they so cute? I got this square um, shape. But yeah, so here is the Pyrology system, the Hydrate. I got the shampoo and the conditioner. So I use this on my hair as well. I really like it. Um, but today to shampoo my hair, I'm going to use the Nazarol Ketoconazole Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. So uh, what I'm going to do is shampoo my hair with this and try to target on my scalp. Because if y'all don't know from watching my previous videos, I do have eczema head to toe. But you can't tell. My skin is nicely hydrated. It's because I used... Um, like I use scent free stuff and I make sure my skin is always moisturized. And um, so I don't, I rarely have flare ups. So if I do have flare ups, most of my flare ups are sometimes happen in my scalp sometimes. Um, but that doesn't happen too often because I, um, you know, shampoo and condition my scalp. And this shampoo, like I use it as a treatment. So I'll put it on, leave it on for like um, 15 to 20 minutes and then rinse it out, rinse it out. So this is helpful for people who have eczema and they might have like flakes in their hair. Um, some people who may also have like um, just really, really dry skin and then they get so eczema basically associated with dry skin. <laughs> So um, if you have like big flakes in your scalp, I highly recommend using this, leaving it on your scalp and then rinsing it off. And I do this like once every week or once every two weeks to my scalp. And I have a U part wig on, so it's easy for me to like take it off, wash my hair, and then put the U part back on. I know it would be more difficult and time consuming doing that if you had like a sew-in or if you use like a lace, but it's so easy for me because it's just a U-part. I literally, 
either clip in or sew it in and I sewed it in. I do have a video showing how to like sew in a U part. I'll link it somewhere up above. But yeah, that's what I'll do. I love this hair so much, y'all. Like this is the best hair. I'll probably be wearing a um like long tresses for a long time. I just like how the ends are like thick and no, not like, you know how sometimes it's like thin, but these ends is thick and I didn't cut the ends at all. So when they say 26 inches, it's really 26 inches. So yeah, this is the stomp mob here. And I dyed it a one in black from the curl system. So yeah. Well, it's the afternoon now, really. Well, about to be. Um, so I'm about to make some coffee. So I wanted to show you guys my favorite coffee that I do. Um, so it's another like um, alternative to like a sugary drink. So this drink has literally like no carbs in it. But look how cute this cup is. My Starbucks cup keeps my drink warm. All right, so the first thing I do is put some creamer in there. I do measure, I'm a pharmacist. Sometimes I eye it though, but I don't know. I just like being particular. So depending on the day, if I wanted to be more creamy or not, I'd put one or two tablespoons in it. Um, so I'm gonna do two today. So it depends. Um, so cream, uh, heavy whipping cream doesn't have any carbohydrates, no sugar. It does have cholesterol though, but you know, um, gotta pick your poisons. And then I use almond milk. So I get the unsweetened almond milk and this has less than one carb in it for one cup. So literally, if you do a quarter cup, that's like, what, 0.25 uh, carbs. <laughs> so, I do one fourth cup of that. And to sweeten it, I use um, the sweetener I have. So I like this liquid stevia. I get it from the grocery store. They, and this is by the Splenda brand, but they have other liquid stevias that you don't have to get the Splenda kind. And I like the liquid instead of the powder because I don't know, the, it's just easier just to squeeze something in. And this has zero calories and zero carbs. And I always look at the nutritional facts on the back so, um, like on total cars, it says zero. And then on the um, total fat, it says zero too. And then obviously on the calories, that big zero. But when I'm buying items, I make sure to look at the carbohydrate content because like, you know, for my healthy diet, what's best for me is to do low sugar. So that's what I look at. And I just do like one squirt. And I also put, so this, this is pretty sweet. If you don't want it that sweet, you can put like a little bit of sweetener in it, not as much as me. But then I use like the Tarani, I think that's what it's called, sweeteners, and they have sugar-free ones. So I have the French vanilla. Then I also have the hazelnut one, which I like. This classic hazelnut. So, yeah. Um, and so, obviously, I like this a lot because it's almost gone. I got this from Marshalls. You know how Marshalls have, like, those, the section where it's, like, the fancy or, like, unique items? So, they've been having, like, a lot of sugar-free and, like, keto-friendly stuff in there. 
So like if you're doing a keto diet or a low carb diet, or if you just wanna find some like unique snacks, I recommend going there. So I just do one tablespoon of this. I hope I have enough for a tablespoon. It might just be exactly a tablespoon, I'm thinking. Wow, I'm so good, yeah. It was exactly a tablespoon. And then I just put my coffee for my Craig. Craig. So I like the hazelnut coffee. And then I also like the dark roast coffee. And it's literally generic. So I don't get any fancy brands. So today, I'm feeling like I want to do the hazelnut. Actually, no, I'm going to do the dark roast because I need some energy today. And I'm gonna do 10, 10 ounces. I try not to drink more than 16 ounces of coffee a day because of the caffeine content. Um, so if I feel like I've had too much caffeine, I do have the caffeine free kind and I don't get any special coffee. So this is my coffee. Literally just from the grocery store brand. So. I have Folgers, but I don't really use that one. This Pete's, y'all, this is no joke. When you need to be up doing like a long paper or don't you have work to do for your business or something like that, get this. This will keep you up all day, okay? So I still have this right here. I only use it in an emergency when I got to stay up for a long period of time. Then I have the Dunkin' Donut caffeine-free ones or decaf. But my favorite ones are the Wegmans Decaf, Dark Rose, and then Hazelnut. Then I have like a holiday blend where they have like cinnamon, nutmeg, and stuff like that. They're, it's a light rose. And then I have teas at the bottom, breakfast blend, just like or whatever, light rose coffee, you know. Then I have some like fancier ones. So I do like Tim Hortons coffee. So when I was, um, during like residency, I was in Ohio in Columbus, so they had Tim Horton, and I was like, oh my gosh, this coffee's good. So, oh my God, they don't have Tim Horton where I'm at now. So, but they do, I can buy the Keurig and the coffee's good. Then I have a cocoa, a hot cocoa mix. Um, my sister gave me this that I'm gonna get during the holidays, so I'll probably use this sometime. So what else do I have on here? And then I got these little fancy ones from Starbucks. <laughs> Cinnamon Dolce, I haven't tried them yet. I was feeling spicy, so I may try that. And then this vanilla bis biscotti from Folgers. I had tried it and it was okay. I think it's a lot of caffeine because when I tried it, I was like jittery, so I haven't had a cup since then. <laughs> So yeah, that's my coffee. Um, oh, and I'll show you some other things that I got from the grocery store that are like um, alternatives for like drinks because I know when I first started not drinking as much drinks, I mean like sugary drinks, I didn't know what to drink. So I started drinking green tea and obviously green, the green tea was still sweetened, but it had a less amount of sugar in it compared to like that red pop I was drinking. Like the Tahitian tree, oh my gosh, it was so good. I remember in high school when we end up getting Tahitian tree in our um, like vending machine, people were going crazy. It was like red pop on the floor. Everybody was buying up because it was the only pop because we had like the healthy vending machines where it was like water, teas and stuff like that. Sun chips. <laughs> That's when I learned about sun chips and it was like supposed to, be, supposed to be healthy chips or whatever compared to like hot Cheetos and Lay's. But there was like Tahitian treat everywhere. It was crazy. But yeah, so some uh, alternative drinks I have. I'll just pull them out. So yeah, so I like Mayo or Mio. So this is the iced tea one. I just got this yesterday and it's pretty good. Um, and I just put it in a water bottle. 
And this has, I don't have my glasses on because I got these eye patches on. But this has zero calories and I shouldn't be squinting, but I gotta do that. So zero carbs, zero fiber. So yeah, I really like this brand. And you literally just squeeze it in. So I like getting this because this is like, for to be honest, it's easier for me to carry um, into my house. Because like when I buy bottles of teas, like, you know, they come in 12 packs and stuff like that. And it's heavy. And I'm tired of doing that. So I was like, let me just get a squeezy bottle so it'll be easier. And it says it makes 24 ounce, 24 eight floor ounces. So yeah. And then I have the Mayo Sport. So I drink these when I'm exercising. So it really keeps me like, you know, motivated to exercise when I have like a little drink. So I got um, Berry Blast and Arctic Grape. They're pretty good. And then y'all have to know about Crystal Light. Like I got all these brands. I mean, all these flavors, y'all. Crystal Light, this, uh, like they usually have the packets, but I got the little squeezy bottle. These drinks be tasting too good. Like, I'd be like, this is unbelievably sweet. And I also probably be putting too much of this in there. That's why I'd be super sweet, like concentrated. So maybe I need to stop doing that. So um, I got the blueberry raspberry, which is good. And then the blackberry lemonade. So both of them are good. Let's look at the, so zero calorie zero carbs, zero sugar. So yeah, here they are. If you guys want a screenshot. So yeah, that's all of my sweeteners. I mean, my like alternatives to my drinks. And when I drink my coffee in the morning, I basically do the same thing. Like, well, I'll either have black, black coffee with a little sweetener if I'm like, you know, fasting. I'll just put like a little cream and stuff in it if I'm feeling like, you know, I don't know, feisty or something like that. So yeah, but this is the best sweetener I've been using. There's a brand that's at Vitamin Shop, but I didn't feel like driving the Vitamin Shop, so that's why I got the Splenda brand. But yeah. So I'm about to uh, do my hair and you know, get dressed. So let me show you guys my um, my hair. So obviously I washed my hair and I braided it up. I just did like braids here and then two braids in the back. So let me show you the wig. So this is the hair. As you can see, it's still, it's, uh, wavy so this is the hair that I literally just had on and I just took it out to wash it and I mean it really didn't need washed really it was just I really wanted to wash my hair underneath um because y'all know I like to wash my hair every uh one to two weeks because you know um, just build up and from like, you know, mostly on my edges when I'm putting like gel, not gel, but like, you know, um, so don't lay my edges down, but yeah, so that's all. Um, so yeah, that's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to put my hair on. Ooh, so let me know. I know the reason for me having sugar substitutes in my drinks and stuff like that is to reduce my risk of having yeast infections because that's just how I know like my how my body has been reacting to sugar in the past. I mean, I haven't had like a million yeast fe infections, but I just know what triggers it. So I do my best to uh, not get them. So I haven't had any. So obviously it's working. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys like caring about stuff like that. I don't know. Um, oh, what may be a cool idea? Let me know if you guys would be interested in me doing a video of over the counter yeast infection treatment. So, um, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a clinical pharmacist. 
So yeah, let me know if you guys want to know any over-the-counter treatment options, some that, and I can even go to some that I tried, some that my girlfriends have tried, because my friends, you know, we just talk about stuff like that. All right, guys, I'm back. I did my makeup and my hair. Isn't it so cute? Oh my gosh. And I use this new heat protectant. Let me show you guys. I just won't tell people on Instagram, but I'll tell y'all too. Y'all can check out my Instagram too. It's chiffon, the same. But yeah, it's from EAP Heat. It's the Bye Bye Frizz Heat Protecting Spray. And I've used it on my extensions and my natural hair. That's all I'll put out on, on my leave out. And my leave out is no frizz and it's blending seamlessly with my extensions. So I definitely recommend so yeah, I'll leave your info in the description box below. Um, but and while I was on my makeup, I was watching Married at First Sight season 12, y'all. Chris and his wife, like that's just a whole situation going on. I ain't gonna get no spoiler alerts, but y'all should watch it. Maybe I'll do a girls chat video on it and we could talk about it because that's crazy. But I got a package, yeah. So a couple of weeks ago, I did a um, haul from Broken Land and their clothes are super cute. And I got another item from them. So I'm going to unbox it with you guys. And I just wanted to uh, you know, got, let you guys know like um, what the box looks like when you get it, because it's like, it feels like luxury, like it's luxurious. And everything about it is so cute. I love the packaging. So obviously it's a regular box. So let me open it here. Can you guys see? Okay. So this is it. Cute. Isn't that so cute? Oh my gosh. I think this is my receipt. Yeah, that's my receipt. That little, like, the paper and everything is so cute. The details. <sighs> look at this skirt. Oh my gosh. Like, look at this. So this is the Ellie skirt from um, Broken Land. And I have one, of, I do have one of these skirts already in a medium and in a different color. And, and I uh, wore it in my last haul, but I wanted to get this dark color because it was so cute. And I ended up getting it in the large this time because um, I wanted to hang a little bit lower on my waist. But yeah, I cannot wait to try this on. So Taking cute, guys. Um, okay, so that's that, but super cute. And I also wanted to show you guys one other thing I got. So I got this thing from Sleeper. Um, that's literally what's it called. It's called Sleeper. And uh this outfit, I hope it fits. So I, I bought it. I bought it, um, like dorm, like uh, Thanksgiving or something. Ended up getting it and it couldn't fit, so that I was able to return it. And then they gave me, um, like I, I exchanged it, not necessarily return. I exchanged for a bigger size because the bottom it just could not fit my butt. Like I don't understand. So I've been working out and it's like. It's not a bad, like I, I like my bottom, but it's just like, it's hard to find clothes when you have like the waist and, you know, bottom ratio is just like not, I guess, typical or a lot of clothes aren't cut like that. So I had to go up on the pants. Um, so yeah, come to the back like this. Sleeper, cute. All 
Oh, this is cute. And it says our seamstress or our pride. And it says who made it. That's so cute. And, and they talk about the care. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay. They, that's why we devote eight to 12 hours to make each garment. Wow. So my clothes took eight hours to make. So handcrafted especially for you. <sighs> oh, please, Jesus, fit me. I hope this fits me. Oops. But here's the top. Look how cute this is. This top actually looks pretty big, but I bought it because it has like frilly stuff on the ends and I thought that would be super cute. See? And then here's the pants. These ones should these ones should fit. These ones should fit. They'll be tight, but they'll definitely fit. Here's the pants with the fur. Oh, I cannot wait to wear these somewhere. I'm gonna go outside. But yeah, those are my things. Oh, guys, I'm loving my hair and my makeup today. It's like minimal makeup. So cute. I love I'm loving my lipstick too. Okay, guys. So it's Sunday around 5, 4 or 5 p.m. You know, um, I think that's it for I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna take some pictures of my cute hair and then just get ready for the week. So I'm gonna upload this tomorrow. So when you're seeing this, it'll be Monday and it'll be an actual Monday for me for work. Look at my nails, cute. I usually get circles, but I got squares this time, but they're so cute. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and let me know what other videos you guys want to see. And I hope you guys had a great weekend and have a good week and I'll see you guys next Monday. Peace and love.